In this, the fourth installment of the series that covers the mishaps our video games continue to churn up, we will mull over some of the fascinating, useful and jaw-dropping errors from the land of Liberty City as it's GTA 4 and this is Depending on how you like to drive about the streets and neighbourhoods of Liberty City might well be a factor into whether or not you would choose to use this first glitch as you could be a very careful driver, avoiding all possible contact with pedestrians, walls and other road users and perhaps trying to preserve your precious vehicle that you just purchased or stole from some unsuspecting driver. Or you could just be holding the accelerator down permanently, drifting around each and every corner trying to make it from point A to point B in the the quickest amount of time. But by applying this simple glitch could definitely help anyone out from avoiding a certain crash at any point during the game. You see, if when driving you have the camera on screen by hitting up on the D-pad A to access the main menu and have the camera highlighted, and when you think you are going to definitely have a crash, just hit A to activate the camera. And no matter where you are or what speed you are travelling at, the vehicle will stop instantaneously. Simultaneously, stone dead, no sliding, no skidding, just stopped, resting there as if it had never begun moving in the first place, saving you and your precious car from landing in a whole heap of trouble. Like the previous glitch, this error can also be of some use if, say, for some reason, Nico finds himself stuck on the top of a building that perhaps is too tall to survive if you decided to leap from it. However, you must have a supply of Molotov cocktails in the inventory, and if so, then wander over to the ledge, then release a cocktail upon the ridge so that it will engulf the platform in flames. Next, manoeuvre Nico into these so that he will be burnt by the fire, but also make sure in the process Nico ends up stepping off the edge falling to the ground below which would technically mean he is falling to his death but instead and because the game is more focused on the fire animation just before the leap Nico will hit the ground but will always get up and walk away totally unscathed In the southern region of Algonquin and Suffolk to be specific, you can find Garnet Street and a subway entrance on the south side of the road. Now, if you position a vehicle up to the subway railings whereby the driver's door is blocked by the lamppost nearby and then attempt to exit the vehicle, Nico will get out the passenger side and not only exiting the car, but also exiting the game into a mucked up world as the street level changes dramatically and rather than staring at endless buildings your vision is supplied with nothing other than blue sky though as you start exploring the buildings will drift in and out the subway passageways that lurk underneath the road can be seen cars appear out of nowhere people on benches reappear and disappear and sometimes even float in mid-air and the police cannot touch you nor can they find you it's almost as if Nico is invisible that is of course until you exit the block where the game will sort itself out and return back to normal. There are many ways of course to travel around Liberty City but this next error allows us to roam in style and almost surf, glide and drift about the streets in our very own box. Yes, that's right, a, a box. There are two boxes that I know of and quite possibly there is a third but we, like most, will be checking out the one spotted in the petrol garage, Meadows Park, within the Duke's Borough. Once there, simply take out a grenade and hurl it towards the wooden crate that resides outside the shop and watch it explode, where hopefully it would have caused enough damage that most of the exterior would have been blown off, allowing us to now step inside the crate and start walking or crouch walking within it and start taking to the streets in this new and crazy way.
In the far northwest of Algonquin Borough, close to the water's edge within the Northwood neighbourhood and close to the roadside lay three shipping containers, two of which are stacked on top of one another and the immediate area is also surrounded by fencing, wood and various bits of waste. This perhaps would not typically be a place of interest and is rather a quiet area, that is, until you start to explore the following bug, as by opening the right door fully on the green container and making sure the left door is closed, then by driving a vehicle into the right side of the closed door can result in a range of bizarre glitches, which include your vehicle being hurled through the container up into the air and sent crashing to the ground. Other times the vehicle will be pressed through the ground and into the underworld beneath Liberty City, which we will talk about more in part two, whereas other times absolutely nothing will occur apart from your vehicle being totaled. But ultimately, what you are hoping for is this. Where the container, for some reason, will start spinning wildly out of control, tearing and ripping and destroying everything in its path and anything that touches its destructive force, which can make for some very entertaining results, especially so close to the roadside. And there we are, five very different glitches to tuck into, perhaps for yourself, and several of which can be enjoyed watching in amazement, whereas others are useful, not so useful, and mostly completely pointless. And we really have only just touched the surface, as there will be a part two. And that's, as always, glitched up, glitched up, glitched up, glitched up glitched up.